Welcome back to Weaponer Farms Production. Uh, today is Friday. It is a relatively brisk day. And we got a bit of an echo in here because we finally finished this wall, or at least, I don't know, we might put two more blocks on there. But for now, it's finished. But that also means that in order to put feet in here, we need some fill on the back side of this wall. So we're going to go uh, on top of the hill and we're going to start taking out part of our hill back there. we dug out in order to get fill for uh, buildings and now we actually need fill to finish this bunker so I'm gonna get down there check out the landscape and uh, see what we got to do to get some fill out of there so getting down here below the hill or this is the hill that I'm gonna try to take out um, it's gonna be a lot of peeling back for the excavator it looks like so I'm gonna go get the cat so I can Peel this topsoil back and then I'll just kind of push up hopefully what I need onto a pile on this end. Then I'll hopefully be able to just take the dump truck back in here, scoop up some nice soft soil and uh, throw it on the dump truck and haul her down. So I'm going to go run and get the cat. Hopefully this isn't all muddy and it works decently for me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when we got the cat back here. Nice decent ear coming out of this field. It's a 16 by... I don't know, it's like 40. Depends on where you count them. If you count littler ones, it's like 40 up to here. So yeah, a little bit of corn out here. I don't think, it, nothing's like super impressive around here this year. Like this, this is a nice ear of corn. Gonna be a good field of corn, but it's definitely no 250 bushel corn, I'll tell you that much. So I guess we're gonna feed the deer with that one because if I bring it home, I'll probably forget about it and I'll just sit in the truck anyways. So, I'm going to get the trailer tipped, go get the um, caterpillar, and then hopefully get some dirt hauled out of here. Good morning, kitty cat. It is time to rise and shine. You never fail me, so here we go. There she goes, always fires right up. She's a beauty. Just gotta give it a minute and the belts will calm down. They're not very happy all the time. Shutting stuff off is never a problem, but 
Yes, it is today. That is the list of things that never thought would go wrong that do. Here we go. We made her to the top of the hill. And we're going to just start pushing this top a little up. got quite a bit of topsoil pushed back over here all around this is kind of the knoll as i push more topsoil up the knoll seemed to get a lot smaller so hopefully there's enough dirt here to do what we're trying to do okay we're dug down to clay like myself a little tiny little hole to park the dump truck in and we're gonna get her loaded up Got her loaded up. I guess it's time to see how far one load gets us over there. Keys on the other side. All right, head her back to the farm. Well, I think it's safe to say it's going to take more than one load, that's for sure. There, she died. When you got a dump truck this small, you best be making every load count. Pack her full. Pack her full. This is not going to be fun. I'm starting to realize how much dirt I'm actually going to have to haul back. But I guess it's got to be done, so we'll keep on trucking. Look at that. we got to start. We're probably actually about maybe a foot or a foot and a half into the hillside. Which doesn't sound like a lot, and it isn't a lot. But... I think we'll have just enough dirt here to finish that, but it's going to be on a standstill because I just got a call from Big Ricky. He just went out and felt that hay that got rained on and uh, sounds like it's about ready to chop. So just sent little Ricky out with the merger. He's going to start merging. I'd better go get the blade ready because we're going to make a pile and chores got to be done. So we'll see you after that. I suppose you couldn't count on anything just going too smoothly. Pretty radical. This is falling off before. This is not the first time. Where can you guys see? Maybe I can do it. Oh yeah. Look at that. I don't want to get you guys greasy. Now that I got that slid on there, I can re-shut my beautiful door and uh, go find a keyway for that so I can actually dump it. If you haven't caught on to it yet, that uh, shaft that fell off, that's to run my PTO pump that dumps the box. And it does not dump. 
if that does not pump. So we're fully loaded, going and looking for a keyway. Time to pull this disaster back off. Spins on there nicely. It's not supposed to spin though. Check it out. We're dumping. We're dumping. I had to fabricate my own keyway because apparently didn't have one the right size. So I had to grind one down to make it fit. But she's dumping. That's all that matters. Just finished up my chores for the night and I'm headed over to see what the game plan is. I see the chopper sitting outside, but I do not see anybody at the moment. What the heck is this nonsense? How am I supposed to get the blade out? How am I supposed to get the wagon out? I don't think this is gonna work. We might be a little overkill for this job. Alright, screw this. I'm waiting. Here goes the first load. Not exactly sure why he's dumping it uphill, but he is. It's whatever. Right on the ground. We don't usually like to put piles on the ground, but it ends up happening. We don't have enough concrete to put all our feet in, and not enough silos to put all our feet in either. So yeah, dumping her on the ground. Gonna make a nice pile right there, hopefully. And yeah. Starting piles on dirt is one of the weirdest things ever. Just dump a load of feet and start spreading it out. You kind of have to have a vision in mind when you're making a pile, especially on dirt, especially when everything's green around your pile. So it makes it a little more difficult to see it. But, you know, we, we get her done. That's all that matters. I'll tell you what, when you got a Fent 926 like this, you don't need an articulate because she just eats the feed and throws it where she wants it. It's the next morning and we got her off a little late last night. Um, didn't make a huge pile. As you can see right here, this is the pile we made. 
just a little bugger but the hay is all off and now i'm gonna go try to finish filling in some of this dirt so i guess i'll see you when it's done probably because it's very repetitive and this video has already been all over the place so i hope you guys are enjoying it <laughs> beaner's got the zoomies because he is just excited to be here what do you think what do you think There you have it, another full load on the old dump truck. You know it's full when she just starts dumping over the sides. We're making progress. Load number three of today. I think it's gonna take probably three more to get one load all the way across. Won't be enough to fill, but it'll be a good start. You guys like my door mechanism? The latch is no longer available on this door that is falling to pieces. So now we just got a binder. Works actually pretty good. Except for when you get a little too much dirt in there, then it doesn't like to come off. And it's like a three-handed job. crazy pretty crazy check it out we got a bit of this uh, hillside dug out it's gonna take a little bit of blending I think to get her smooth again but I've been just kind of taking out the top here this is ending up a little high at the moment but by the time I come in here with the cat and just kind of bring it all back together it'll come into a fairly level kind of just bump I think so yeah, I'm gonna haul this load back. This is gonna be my last load for today because I got enough fill to do what we wanted. We wanted to get two blocks for sure covered before we start filling it. And then we'll have to haul more dirt later. Alrighty, just grabbed the track skid steer. We're going to get this dirt all pushed in and packed down just a little bit. And I'm gonna set you guys down for that. All right, there we go. We got that dirt all leveled off in here. About two blocks high all the way across. We'd like to get some feet in here before we pile it up on both sides and then it can kind of settle together. We don't have to worry about the wall pushing out, hopefully. So yeah, that's all the dirt I'm gonna haul for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. Maybe give her a share if you're feeling a little crazy. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.